Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a different type of video for you. I'm going to talk about seam binding today. And um, there's two different kinds that I want to talk about. And the first one is vintage seam binding. And um, you're going to find this in thrift stores, antique stores, um, rummage sales. These are, these are the places I'm going to look. And it's going to come in something like a package like this. These are unopened. Usually you find them half open, half used. Um, you know, sometimes it's just wrapped around a card like this. This is literally how I found this one. Um, I was actually at an antique um, store and there was a vintage sewing box there and I was going through it and it had all of these inside and it was just kind of like this. And I went down there and I had bought a few other things, but I said, you know, I, I'm just interested in this. I didn't want everything that was in there. What, what would you sell this for? And he said, you can just have it. So, you know, there's not a ton on each one, but this is what the vintage seam binding is going to look like. And the vintage seam binding is really good quality. It's going to have like a silky kind of sheen to it. And it's going to be, um, it's not going to be transparent. And you'll see what I mean when I show you like a newer seam binding, but what I found out with these is a crafty friend of mine, Deanna. Hi, Deanna, if you're watching. Um, I'll link her Instagram down below. She just started a crafty Instagram recently, so make sure you go give her a follow. But she had sent me some bows made out of this seam binding, and she did this really pretty double loop on them. And I just love how they look, and they just make a really neat addition to your crafts. And for some reason, this vintage seam binding works the best with these like they make the best bows and I'll show you how to make those in a second here um but you can see all the different colors that they come in um here's another one that she sent me in this black they're just so pretty um there's some two different color reds I've got two different shades of green here that I took off of the paddle that it comes on and put it on my own um these are just some extra ones I don't know if I'll save those or not but here's like a beautiful shade of blue I mean just look at the different colors here just in what I have here with blues and there's another one there um this white one has a little bit of a pattern on it um here's a couple different browns and what they used this for uh, back in the day was it was kind of a decorative piece like it would fold in half and it would be kind of just a an added decoration on the edge of a of a piece of clothing so it would be like you would sew it on like that so there's some browns this isn't seam binding this is more of a bias tape this is something different um, but you'll find this stuff mixed in with it too and when I get this type of stuff I use this for creating like um oh if I send like a tag flip I'll tie this along around the top um with my ribbon and um it just adds a different texture here's a pretty like gray color I've got an orange here uh, another gray of really pretty butter yellow so yeah I just have all different colors here that I just keep them I don't I keep I kept them in this little box right here for now these are all the th free ones I got um and then the rest I took and I actually have them in with my trims and ribbons around cards like this but um let me quick show you how to make this bow it is so easy but I think it's just really a pretty embellishment so I'll use this brown here take this off so you're just going to use your fingers for it. And I don't have a certain measurement, so I just kind of play it by ear. Um, you're going to keep long enough for a tail. So whatever you keep down here is going to be one of the, the bow pieces. So however, however long you want this, that's how much you're going to leave down. And you're just going to weave it between your fingers. So you're going to start by going over your finger here. You're going to go under, over, and under. So then you have your two loops here, and then your two loops here are, what gonna make, are what's going to make the bows. Then the whole rest, you're going to put through your fingers down here. And then this piece, you can either cut it now or you can cut it when you're done because you can kind of see it's a lot to work with. Um, you're going to tuck it underneath this loop here. So I'm just going to go underneath here and pull it through. And then you're going to tighten it and then it slips off and then you can trim your bows or your tails I mean so trim this and then trim this one 
And you can iron this before you work with it because um, with it being so old, they've been wrapped around these cards for years and years. I'm, you know, probably 30 or 40 years. These could be from like the 70s. Um, and it is going to have that crease in it. But just look at how cute that is. It's just a cute little bow. Um, and the ones that Deanna makes, her bows are a little smaller where mine are bigger because my fingers are like this as I'm trying to get used to doing it. But I do like the way like the smaller bow looks. So anyway, those are with the old seam binding. So if you're at rummage sales or things this summer or vintage stores, look for the seam binding. Um, like I said, this is what the other ones are going to look like. This one's going to specifically say bias tape. Um, and then that is what this, this is going to look like. And it's folded in the back like this and it's more of a cotton material. So that's going to be what the bias tape is. This is also bias tape. This is also bias tape. Um, I also find this Rick Rack in with it too. And I usually just take this and put this in with my, with my trims and my ribbons. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you is new seam binding. So I was looking for seam binding and it's made by a company called Hug Snug. And um, I was looking for a small roll of it and I haven't seen it in fabric stores. Um, I checked Hobby Lobby, I checked Michael's, I, I couldn't find it. So I actually ordered some online and it's pretty easy to get. It, like I said, it's called Hug Snug. You just get a ton. And like these, I think I picked out these two colors. This is a different brand. This one is just Ribbon Connections, I think is the company right there. But I actually ordered both of these from walmart.com. So they shipped through there, but they're both from zipperstop.com. Um, so anyway, these are brand new and they're 100 yards on a roll. Like you get so much. Um, so I just picked two colors that I thought I would work with quite a bit and um, ordered these. Now I'll probably maybe slowly grow my collection, but um, I obviously have enough here for a very long time. Um, so if you have a crafty friend that you want to split it with, this might be the way to do it. So like I said, it's about $17.99 for each of these. You get 100 yards. But I want to show you how to make the crinkled uh, seam binding that you see. Um, so I tried making it with the vintage seam binding, and it doesn't hold the crinkle very well. And I think it's just the good quality of the material, the rayon material. Um, so this is what it looked like when I tried to crinkle this one. As you can see, it doesn't have much crinkle. So... Um, I would suggest crinkling the new seam binding and making bows with the old seam binding. Um, so you're going to take this. And if you don't know what I mean by crinkle seam binding, it's this. It's the stuff that you see. Um, you can order it off of Etsy. Um, but it looks like this. And it creates really cute ties. Um, and it creates really cute... Um, tassels is the word I'm looking for. So this is what it looks like. So all you have to do, I took five yards of it here. This is what it looks like. All you're going to do is you're going to get it wet and you can just run it under water. I just wanted to do this here for you. So I brought the cup. You're going to wring it out. And the first time I did it, I, I did it like this. Okay. So this is like what I crinkled it up. And it turned out like this. And in my opinion, that's a little too crinkly. It looks a little too messy. So um, what you're gonna do, what I did, <clears throat> is I took it and you're just gonna gently, gently put it in your hand. I'm gonna find an end here, okay. So I'm just gonna kind of do this. And I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a Give it some, give it a little bit of a, a crunch in my hand, but you're going to want it loose. But basically you're going to leave it like this and you're just going to let it air dry like that. That's all there is to it, honestly. But like I said, I would shake it out, get a lot of those crinkles out, just make it uh, like a light, a light kink in it. And then when it dries, it's going to look like this. So that is the, the dry one. Here is the peacock color one and I think they're absolutely perfect so like I said if you want to get a crafty friend and go together on the seam binding that would be a great idea um otherwise you know if you want to just start 
ordering one at a time just I know like I use pink a ton so pink was a no-brainer for me I know I'd get my money my money's worth out of it but um super easy way to make your own seam binding and I always have it on hand so if you guys have any questions let me know I hope this was helpful for you and um, I'll see you in my next video bye